get to what was inside the box, there's a lot to cover. If you're joining us here from TikTok, welcome J-Squad. And if you're joining us here from YouTube, welcome. If you wanna join the J-Squad, all you have to do is subscribe and hit that bell. Also, don't forget to leave your comments so I can pick my favorite subscriber comments for the next video. Speaking of which, you're my favorite comments from the last video. As a special perk of being part of the J Squad, I'm offering a discount on all merch and books. Just tap the link in my description below to get your coupon code today. Okay, now let's get to it. All of April showers brought lots of May flowers, which meant one thing. Spring was in the air, which meant another thing. Spring cleaning was also in the air, and my house was no exception. I got to work at organizing all of my stuff. I began with the kitchen, organizing all of the cupboards. Then I moved my way to the bathroom and ended in the bedroom with my closet. It was in there I found this weird door that I had never seen before all the years I had lived here. I guess it had always been covered up by my storage. So what's the first thing you do when you find a secret door hidden in your closet? You try to open it, duh. I tried to open it, but it was sealed shut. There wasn't even a knob or a lock. My curiosity had definitely been piqued. So I grabbed the hammer and I came back to pry it open. But when I got there, the door was already cracked open. Take a look for yourself. Since the door had been cracked open, I figured I might as well try to open it the rest of the way. But when I reached to do that, I heard this weird crawling right above me in the ceiling. I stood up, followed it all the way into my office. That's where I noticed this small hole in my ceiling. When I looked up to the opening, the crawling stopped and this fell out. That's right, this weird tiny shoe. I had never seen it before and I didn't recognize it. So I didn't think much of it. I had no idea what to do. So I got out my spirit board and it spelled Dom Sanders. Who was that? I had never heard of him. So I hopped on Online and did some digging. Apparently, he was a famous doll maker that used to live in my house. Now I had to know what was inside that small door. But when I went back, the door had resealed. It was completely shut. There was no opening at all. How did that happen? I didn't care and I wasn't gonna find out. I grabbed my hammer and I pried open the door and I crawled inside. The whole time this was in my house? Are you kidding? I climbed the ladder and got to this small tunnel that was apparently in my attic. It smelled like mold and mildew and there was rusty rainwater dripping down the walls. But I could see this faint glow at the end of the tunnel, so I decided to check it out. At this point, I figured I was above my living room, although I had no idea where I really was. I just thought that I better take it slow. I didn't know how secure my ceiling was. <laughs> I didn't want to come crashing through under the ground below, so I took my time and crept up to the glow. But right as I was about to see where the light was coming from, something grabbed my foot and yanked me back. I was terrified. But when I looked behind me, all that was there was this note. After I read that note, I knew it was from Dominic, so I tried to get out. But when I climbed back down the stairs and I got to the entrance, it was sealed shut. Okay, now, I'm a claustrophobic person. There's no doubt about that. I can't even handle crowds. I definitely need my personal space. And I had been cramped up in these tunnels and small passageways for what seemed like hours now. I thought I was gonna lose it. When I realized the only way out was sealed shut and that I was blocked in, I started to panic. That's when I heard something right behind me. Was it Dominic? Was it the same thing that grabbed my leg? I didn't wait around to find out. I took off crawling down another passageway. And this time, the splintery walls turned to this soft, wrinkly material that I did not recognize. What was I touching? I saw the same faint glow again at the end of the tunnel, so I began to crawl toward it. And as I came into the light, I realized why the walls felt old and wrinkled. This particular tunnel was covered in newspaper articles. They were glued to the walls and the ceiling. My claustrophobia set in even more, and I had to remind myself to just breathe. This was the first article I noticed that was pasted on the wall. Man opens doll shop. Public outrage. Attention seeking or insanity? Sounds pretty harsh. This is what it says. Dominic Sanders may look like your everyday unassuming man, but walk into Sanders Doll Company and you'll be taken for quite the surprise. Dominic was raised in Queens by his war hero father, Rathmus Sanders. Although Sanders Sr. declined to comment, it is safe to assume he does not approve of his son's endeavor. We visited the storefront and asked Dominic a few questions. He only answered a few of them before getting angry and asking our team to leave our property. So should a man own a doll shop? The Charlotte Yeller says no. What do you think? Continued on page 22. And this was the other article I found. Army hero son brings shame to family. And here's what this one says. Rathmus Orion Sanders only wanted the very best for his son Dominic. He sent him to all the best academies, and training facilities, free of charge to the boy. When the time came to enlist, Dominic refused, sending his father and the entire family into a tailspin of depression. The longtime war hero family could simply not understand how one of their own kind could not wish to enlist, but instead create and sell his own dolls. That is correct, folks. A war hero's descendant chose dolls over duty. The Charlotte is mortified, to say the least. 
and there's a picture of what looks like his dad. How horrible is that? After reading those articles, I had this awful pit in my stomach and I couldn't place the emotion. I just felt sad. I mean, obviously, this poor guy was just trying to follow his dream, but his dad didn't understand, and it seemed like he disowned him from the family, all because he wanted to make dolls instead of fighting wars. I honestly think that I would choose doll making. I hate war. After reading the articles, I followed the glow to another ladder. This one led up to the attic again, and it seemed like it was the same place I saw the glow the first time I went up there. So of course, I climbed the ladder and was shocked to see a room full of candles in my attic. I rushed into the small room and found that there was a small box surrounded by all these candles. I crawled into the room and found this box nestled in between the candles. The room was tiny and cramped and again lined with newspapers from floor to ceiling, which was only about two feet. But still, it was a lot. Here's one of the articles I saw in the room. Sanders Lady Jane doll skyrockets career. Here's what it says. Dominic Sanders may look like your everyday unassuming man, but walk into the Sanders doll company and you'll be taken for quite the surprise. Dominic is a highly gifted artist that shows the path of doll making. Many say that his simple features enhance the quality and authenticity of the doll. This has been an all-around triumph for Sanders. What started as a hobby in his house has turned into a full-blown company now serving the Hollywood elite and a select group of individuals in various foster care systems and orphanages. The extremely sweet Lady Jane doll has captured the hearts of the nation as stores scurry to keep their shelves stocked. If you are lucky enough to get your hands on one of these gems, collectors say to hold on to it as long as possible, as she could be worth an enormous fortune in the near future. And this was the other article that was pasted on the walls and ceilings. It says, entire Sanders doll collection vanished. The dolls that the country was clamoring for have all vanished without a trace. No alarms were tripped and no files reported. However, when customers lined up at the Sanders Doll Company storefront, they were shocked to find an empty store. Deputy Leonard Fine stated there was no sign of breaking and entering or foul play, but the merchandise simply vanished overnight. Any tips are greatly appreciated. Continued on page 29. So why were all these newspaper clippings used as wallpaper in this secret room of my house? And what is inside this box? Well, we're about to find out. Let's open her up, shall we? The first thing in the box was this note. Please give this Lady Jane doll a loving home. She was the only doll ever returned to my store. The girl who owned her passed away and her parents couldn't bear to have her around the house. Lady Jane was part of an empire I would soon destroy because that's what destroyed the relationship between me and my father. Please love her and give her a nice place to live. This box is too much like a coffin. Look, it looks like it's signed Dominic at the bottom. And of course, inside, That's when I realized the shoe that fell out of my ceiling belonged to her. Ah! I could have sworn something just bit me. Maybe there's like a bug on it or something. It's really weird. It was like a pinching. Huh. So in the end, I learned that a man named Dominic Sanders used to live in my house. And he was a famous doll maker. And that his doll may be worth money, so I guess I may keep it around and get it checked out someday. Who knows? But what I learned from Dominic's story is that it's important to always embrace who you are. And be yourself no matter what. Authenticity is key. And parents, it's so important to support your kids. Remember, they are kids. And they don't have any ulterior motives. They just want to be who they are. So make sure you're behind them 100%. Boys can play with dolls. Girls can play in the dirt. Do what makes you happy. And as long as you're not hurting yourself or anybody else, <laughs> you're doing okay. It looks like for Dominic, sadly, he didn't learn that lesson. And I don't know what happened to him. But now, I have a reminder to always live my 100% true authentic life and to only be me. Reminding the J-Squad to only be you. And it's okay if you don't know who you are yet. We're all learning who we are every day. So just remember, we're all growing, we're all learning, and we're all loving. All right, guys, that's all for tonight. Thank you so much for being part of the J-Squad. Sending my love over and out. Oh, hey, are you still here? Oh, no, 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 stick around. There's some other videos I thought you might want to see. Have you seen uh, this one yet? Or what about that one? Oh, oh, no, you should check out this one for sure. Don't forget to ring that bell and hit that subscribe button.